All right, before we start our next layer, we're gonna start the under layer of lips. This layer um, is kind of important. You don't wanna put your lips on all at one time. It's kind of makes them kind of look lipsticky and gunky. You want a more natural look. Um, so we're going to start with creating a palette. And here in the paint tray, you can see four different colors. This is a crimson color. This is kind of a, the eyelid purple, reddish purpley color. This is the warm blush color over here. And this color up here is just the number four lip nail blush color. It's kind of a good old standby. For the under layer of lips, I kind of want a color between this a warm blush and kind of the purpley color kind of makes a um, a nice warm color without making it look too red. So on the lips you can kind of see we have a defined shape. You can kind of see the lines. So we're going to start by not getting too ahead of ourselves. We're going to do one part at a time. With our small brush we're going to kind of give it an outline on one quarter of the, eye, the lip. So we're gonna come back in with a small pointy brush and we're gonna pull that down into the lip and gently kind of blur and fuzzify the edges to make it not look like a straight line. Okay, so we have one part of our lip done. And we're going to go back and redip. I'm just following the little crease that they, the sculptor, helpfully put on this set of lips for me. Okay, so that just defined the top layer of our lip. There's still some areas in here that aren't colored yet, but we'll get to those in a minute. We're gonna finish this up. Now we're gonna do the bottom layer of the lip. I flip my head over for this so I have better control of my paintbrush. All right, so we're gonna basically do what we did with the top lip. We're gonna outline it. And then we're going to grab the paint and pull it in towards the center of the lip. Okay. So you can see the outline of the lip. Over here, I think I've gotten a little bit too much, so we're gonna to try to take some of that off by correcting it. Okay, so now we're gonna come back and we're gonna fill in the centers. I'm gonna dip my paint so it's a little bit more wet than the thicker color, and then I'm gonna come into this crack, and we're gonna kind of go the opposite way. Touch it and blend it. And you can kind of see there's a little bit of a gunk in the crack up here. So we're going to take our tiny brush and paint it up there. All right, now naturally on little baby lips, we have a little spot here, the little milk blister thing that seems to be a little naturally more pale. So we're gonna try to avoid that. We'll use some of the residuals up on it so it doesn't just stay like a big white sore. Um, but we'll not purposely put tons of paint on it. Okay. I think we're about done. This is the first layer, um, so this will get cooked on with the next layer of skin. 